Hello again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. So today we're going to be talking about Node.js executables. Um, and if you don't have Node or IOJS installed in your machine, there will be a link in the description to an earlier video to show you how to get that installed. Um, but today I've been collecting a, a list of uh, a pretty modest list of uh, one line bare ASCII art. And I want to have a command that I can type on uh, my machine that will give me uh, one of these bears. And currently, as you can see, I don't have this command on my machine, so I want to write one um, that I can do it. Uh, so to do that with Node, we can start off just like any other Node script and create the file. We're going to create this file called cli.js. And so from here, we're just going to use the fs module to read this file. Uh, so we'll say fs.read file, and the file is bears.txt. And we'll either get an error or we'll get uh, the data from the file returned uh, to us. And so from here, we can just turn this data into a array of bears here. So we'll say data to string to make sure it's a string. And we'll just split it by the new lines um, in the file. Um, and then we want a random bear out of this list. And so since bears is an array, we can just simply do bears uh, math floor math random, and we want a random value between that and the length of the bears array. And then we'll just simply uh, console log out the uh, random bear that we've got, not bears. And now we can go here to our terminal and we can run node CLI and test to see if this works. Hooray, so every time we run it, we'll get a random bear. So now we want to turn this into an executable so we don't have to type in node CLI beforehand uh, to, to do it. And so to do that, we're going to add a, a, a shebang um, to the top of our, our script here. And so we'll just do hash uh, exclamation point, and we'll say user bin env for environment and node. And so adding this to the top of our script will just make this, uh, will make the operating system know to run this script as a program uh, using Node um, uh, to run it. Um, in other words, we don't have to write Node uh, before our, our script here to run it. We can just write the script uh, here to do it. But the other thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change the permissions of the script uh, to have executable permissions. Uh, so if we look here um, at our script currently, it only has read write uh, um, permissions, but no executable permissions. So to do that, we'll do a chmod and we'll add executable permissions to our CLS, CLI script here. Um, and as you can see, now it has executable permissions. So now all we need to do to run the script is just uh, put a, for, uh, a dot slash in front and the name of the script and run it and we get the, uh, the bears here. So it, adding this uh, just lets your operating system know that uh, we want to run it with Node um, and that it is a program. Okay, great. So what we could do if we wanted, we could move uh, this CLI script. We could rename it uh, to, you know, um, bear me and move it into the uh, user local bin folder here. And then that way, anytime we typed uh, the word bear me, it would run that script for us. Uh, we could do that if we just wanted to do it locally. But I want this script uh, to be available to everybody because everybody needs to have bear um, ASCII art. And as well as uh, I want to add uh, window support uh, really easily. So uh, to do that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use NPM to publish uh, this tool. And when people install it, uh, NPM will magically convert the files it needs necessary to make it so this command will also run on, uh, on Windows, uh, Linux, and OS X. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is create a package JSON by typing in npm init. And this will create my package JSON uh, for my project here. Um, and then in which case I can go here into my package JSON and let's change the name into our, uh, our package here. This is what it will be published as. I'm going to call it bear me. Um, let's just fix that version there. Um, and so the, the thing, the, the most important thing that we need to add is, uh, by, you know, by default right here we have this main script. So when somebody installs your program and they want to require it, uh, it will use this main uh, field here, but if you want to create a your own script to install on another person's machine, uh, you add a, a key here called bin, and bin has a 
um, it has a hash that you can specify which commands uh, to install that will run a specific script in your package. So I only want one script uh, called bear me and it's going to run uh, the CLIJS uh, file script that we have here. So anytime a user will uh, install our package and they type uh, the command bear me, it will run this script. Okay, so now all we need to do is publish this script. Uh, so I go back here to my terminal and I'm in the folder and I have my package JSON. I'm gonna type npm uh, publish and this will publish my script up to the npm registry. Okay, hooray. Our script has been published to NPM. It's now available to everybody and to me. So basically anywhere on my computer or anywhere else's computer, if they have NPM installed, they can type NPM install uh, the name of our package. And I'm going to do dash G because that will install it globally um, throughout my system. And so what it's going to do is NPM is going to create this uh, bear me uh, program here in our user local bin. Uh, so that way we can type the word bear me um, from anywhere uh, on our system and we will get a bear. So now that it has finished installing, I can type in bear me and I get a bear, a random bear, anytime I want, just bear me. I can type bear me and I can pipe it out to a bear.txt file and now I have a bear available in my file. Okay, so now we wanna test this on Windows. And the one thing we wanna make sure we do is to make sure we get our paths right. Um, so here, when we just say fs read file uh, to the bears.txt file, it's gonna use the, probably the, the current directory and that's not gonna be what the current directory is when we install this. Uh, so we, a good way is just to make sure to use uh, the path module here. Um, and then we'll just say path resolve because we wanna resolve the location of this file. And it will always be uh, relative to the directory name of this script that we're running in Node.js here. Um, and we're just append on uh, the bears.txt. So this will ensure um, that our script will run in Windows and Linux and OS X and the path will always be the correct uh, path that we want, no matter where it's installed. So now that we've updated this, uh, we can go here to our package JSON and we can publish a fix here and then go here into our folder and type in npm publish and it will publish our new 1.1 version uh, for everyone to install. So let's open up the old Windows box. I've created a folder here for bears and I'm going to npm init it to create our package JSON and then I'm going to do npm install bear me and save it to our dev dependencies here. And so what npm will do is it will install it to this node modules folder. And because it has a uh, program attached to it, it will automatically create this bear me and bear me .command So it can be ran um, by windows. And so what we can do is we can go in here to our package JSON scripts and we can type in bear me. And you've noticed that I've not installed the bear me command globally. If I typed bear me in here, it wouldn't, you know, I'm not going to, gonna, I'm not going to get the script. It's, it doesn't exist. I haven't installed it globally. Um, but what NPM will do is if you have a script here, it's going to first check this node modules dot bin folder for the command and run it here first. So um, now if I type NPM test, we get a bear, although Unicode support for uh, this terminal really stinks. So the bear doesn't look very good. That's a bummer. But anyways, it still works. And so uh, that's what's great about NPM uh, aliasing uh, programs for you. So the user doesn't have to install them globally on the machine. So I hope this has helped you understand how to create your own Node.js um, executables. And if it has, then please share the videos and help others. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.